Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy, Pac-Man. And in today's video, we are going to be taking apart an original model Xbox One fat VCR looking one if you guys are unaware by now. And we are going to be cleaning it out and applying some new thermal paste to it just because it's old and um, I've been having a lot of issues so I'm going to try to give it some good cooling and I expect a lot of dust. Let's start with the tools you're going to need. Only a couple things. One, some air, canned air to dust your electronics safely if that's what you're going to be doing, opening this up for that. If you're opening this up to fix a hard drive, replace a hard drive, things like that, or a disk drive, that's a different story. And also, I bought this at Walmart for like 13 bucks, but it's an electronic repair kit. Looks like this. And the main reason I bought it is for these, these little pry, plastic pry things. Those are really handy for this. Also comes with all of your Torx bits for taking apart controllers, all that kind of stuff. And then you will also need some thermal paste if you're gonna be replacing your paste on your CPU. So keep that in mind. Now here we have my one of my favorite limited edition consoles. Disclaimer, I'm merely giving you the tools to succeed. If you do break your console, I am not liable. And if it does break, go buy a PS4 because Xbox has no games anyways. What are you doing with this system? Please direct all complaints to Bungie.net because it's all Bungie's fault. Thank you. Just a side note, you will avoid your warranty because I believe there's a warranty sticker, a void sticker you gotta take right off right here on this thing. So keep that in mind. We are way past the one year warranty on this Xbox. This Xbox is three years old. So we're just gonna start by unclipping this bad boy. So first things first, remove that side panel with the controller sync button. It should just pop right off. Nice look in right here. I think this slides right off. It does. Take this part out, it slides right underneath here. Take it out. And then we are going to take our casings off. So let's get that done. All right, so next you guys, you're gonna take off this sticker right here. That's your warranty sticker. And as far as I know, there really isn't a way to take it off without you know, fooling Microsoft to think that you didn't take it off. So you're just better off doing it. And you can use a screwdriver if you guys absolutely must. Now you push down, put your thumb on this part and pull. And that will release one of them. Then I should make taking my pry tool easier. Now I'm gonna go through with my pry tool Wherever you see a clamp, go ahead, put your pry tool in there and move upwards. I think we finally got it. That part is pretty difficult. Honestly. because you feel like you're gonna break something if you're not careful enough. Now, before you guys go any further, we got that open. Do not pull on this cover, okay? I'm gonna try to give you guys the best angle I possibly can so you guys can see what I'm doing here. See that right there? Okay, so this ribbon needs to come off. This little tassel right here. Okay, see how I just, see that little tassel right there? You just pull it back, pull the blue piece back, and then pull this. You see that, that little chip actually goes right in there, right into that slot. So you just pull it out. Be very careful with that. Because that communicates your eject. God, I love that blue. Look at that sexiness. And your power button. This thing was definitely due for a cleaning. All right, so next, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to unplug our little speaker here. Just squeeze and pull. I'm guessing that's for your chimes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this is your Wi-Fi adapter. This pops right off. You'll see these big screws on your motherboard. They're on your uh, plate here. And these actually connect to the motherboard, I believe. 
They're labeled like C1, 2, there should be eight of them. So I'm making sure my stuff is demagnetized. If you guys have a tool like this, well, let's see, I believe it's Torx 10. And Torx is your little star bit, basically. Torx 10 for the big screws. Yes, this is a Torx 8. And keep your screws in a spot with your part that goes along with it. This is actually plugged in to the, uh, you don't want to remove that yet. We'll just remove the screws. Switch to my T10. Torx 10. Holy moly. These are long enough to be considered a weapon. Pop that right off, it's plugged right into this little thing here. Oh, and there's where the last, it was hiding underneath the adapter. Okay, take that off. I will clean this as well. Here's your meat and potatoes of your Xbox. You got your heat sink. You got your hard drive right here. You got your disk drive right there. Out. And building a PC really prepared me for all this. So if you guys want to build your own PC, check out my video, my guide. Take out our hard drive, little teeny SATA cable, SATA cable, whatever you want to call it. However you want to pronunciate it. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see all the dust now. Woo! And there's no screws attaching this down. This has uh, all been removed from those uh, big screws that we had. There is a hard drive, I will clean that. CPU cooler or heat sink. Just unplugging everything. And we're gonna remove this, clean it up, the nice looking. Put some new thermal paste on. Clean off the old thermal paste first, put some new one on, pop it back on, dust all this off and put it all back together. Remove this blanket now because I don't want no static electricity while I'm messing with this. Always a good idea to keep yourself grounded while messing with very delicate electronics parts like a motherboard. She was definitely due for a cleaning. You shouldn't have to worry about your fan falling because not only is it screwed in here but it's got that infamous X clamp the Xbox has an X clamp so we will undo this looks like the Torx 8 once again All right, and we're just gonna remove our screws right here Uh, looks like there's two here, two here. These pop right out. 
remove these front three. These look like the same screws that we removed the, uh, from the back plate there to hold the fan in place. Carefully slide that out. Also gonna remove this little side thing, just so we have no obstructions when we're trying to remove the motherboard. And uh, that's gonna get a nice dusting to motherboard. Woo! Here are the infamous X clamps. I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to remove this. I've never removed one, but I heard they're a pain in the ass. All right, so with this, we're just gonna use flathead. Supposedly what you wanna do is just angle your flathead in there. And you get it to pop out like that. Kiss my wife goodbye. You angle it in on the side there and then try to work your way towards the uh, towards the inside edges here. This one's almost off. That one's off. That one's off, and that one's off. Wow, look how crappy that thermal paste looks there. That is not good, folks. So we're gonna scrape this off carefully, apply some new stuff. Very dusty heat sink. Look at that. Not very good looking. So we're gonna clean this all off, and then I will reconverge with you guys. We clean this residue off. I don't think you guys need to see me do that. And I'll show you me cleaning the other part off in case you guys need to see that. But uh, use your canned air. I would blow all this crap off. Clean your fan blades, stuff like that. Um, they actually say, I don't know if it applies um, when it's unplugged like this. They actually say to hold your fan blade in place and spray you because you don't want your fan rotating too much. It takes life. Uh, life uh, years off your fan, whatever you want to call it. So be careful with that. But I'm just going to wipe it down and uh, we'll go from there. And I should mention, you guys, that I'm using alcohol wipes to clean all this. And these are the preferred electronic cleaning solution of Patman everywhere. So I highly recommend using alcohol. And we're going to be very careful with this uh, CPU as far as the cleaning goes get in there nice and good and scrape all this off oh, look at that look how pretty that looks what you guys could do if you're feeling a little risky I'm gonna attempt this go to wrap my flathead try not to make make sure it doesn't poke out Actually, wrap it a couple times in here. I'm going to try to clean in these grooves because it's really caked in there. Be very careful. You don't want to damage anything, so don't let it poke through. Don't go too far down. Don't apply too much pressure or anything like that. All right, so. Just wanted to show you guys this. As you can see, I did a pretty deep clean of my fan. Okay, and so you guys know, you pop these clips off, just put something in there, like a screwdriver and pop it outwards. You can pop this fan right off, uh, get underneath the blades, clean all that up. I cleaned all my grills, deep spring cleaning, deep tissue massage if you will. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free, hit me up in the uh, comment section of this video and we will do everything we can to 
go ahead and help you all out. So with thermal paste, less is always more. And I got MX4 Thermal Compound 2019 edition, up to date. So if you're watching this in 2019, what's up players? Uh, this is good stuff, good stuff. Uh, cheap on Amazon, it's like $9.99. And I had this left over from my PC build. I actually had to use this twice because I changed processors. Yeah, I actually upgraded my processor on my PC, so. Um, from the last time you guys saw it in the video. So with the thermal paste, I'm gonna try to get this. We are going to just be applying a pea-sized amount. So that's good, right about there. Okay. Very small amount because once we put our heat sink on, it will spread out. So very minimal. Make sure that's sitting nice and even on our motherboard there. All right, so with this X clamp, all I did was push down on it and most of them snapped in. This one right here might take a little bit of screwdriver action, kind of like how we took it off. We're gonna wanna put it back on, a little help. Or you could just snap it on like I just did right there. But once that's on, it should be pretty sturdily on there. Your heat sink ain't going nowhere. As you can tell. Well, can you tell? I'm shaking this bad boy. And it ain't, it's on there. Nice and sturdy. It ain't going nowhere, okay? Make sure you line everything up, like on your IO shield there. Line up your ports. Make sure they're nice and uh, squarely in there. Put all your screws back in, and then pray, like I will. Pray to Phil Spencer and the Microsoft gods that your Xbox works when you plug it back in. If all right, guys. So originally, I was gonna leave y'all be, end the video, because I am a firm believer and I'm a firm believer in reverse engineering. So if you could take it apart, you could put it back together. However, I ran into quite a few hiccups and I just wanted to make sure you guys didn't make the same mistakes that I did. So if you like that kind of dedication, I'm not getting any sleep because of this. If you guys like that kind of dedication, leave that like and subscribe for me. But a couple things that I wanted to help you all out with. First and foremost, when you're putting your casing back in and you're putting your big screws, your big stake screws, your stake knife, whatever you wanna call them, the huge ass screws. When you're putting those back in, make sure that your bottom tray is lined up with everything on your metal tray. There will be uh, little spacers and stuff that line up directly into the plastic here. So if you have everything lined up, these should tighten down. And if you don't, if these aren't tightening, then you know stuff isn't lined up, go back, take a look, make sure everything's flush. That's pretty self-explanatory. But also before you put this uh, network adapter card back on, remember one of the big screws is actually underneath there. Okay. But the biggest thing that gave me the most trouble and almost made me want to throw this damn thing out the window was that ribbon. Now you gotta remember, you gotta put this ribbon back on because otherwise your front panel won't work. And what I highly, highly recommend, there's one of two things you can do. Instead of having your big piece right here attached to your front plate, what I did, you could either take this off, this piece off, it has the three small screws there, and attach your, your ribbon in like that, or you could do what I did, and that front plate is attached all along here. So you're just gonna, you just unclip these from the attachments here and you'll just have the front plate remaining. And that's how I did it. It was much easier to attach this ribbon um, like that. Now, when you're going back 
on, when you're putting it back on, you should fit right on like that. Make sure your bottom crease is nice and flush. And that's what the main problem was. Before I could detach this part, I was not getting this part flush on the bottom. Everything else was popping in just fine as a whole. But this bottom piece was not. And it was really, really frustrating. Like I said, this makes it a hell of a lot easier. Afterwards, you are free to pop everything in. And if you pay attention to this side, there's a certain clip that needs to line up right. And then everything else should line up with it. There we go. How simple that is. So much easier. Trust me on that, guys. Trust me on that. Boom. Voila. Make sure everything's flush. That all, that all looks good. Okay. I'll help you guys out on this part too. When doing this little tray piece, we just do it one more time because I don't think that got on camera. Just slide her in, you got your cool little button there. And then finally it all comes together with your grill piece. And with that, very easy. Pop in and boom. Then we'll plug this baby back in, make sure it works. Got that glorious, glorious sound of the limited edition console. And as you guys can see, we are functioning hope this video helped you guys out and hopefully you don't experience any problems mine seems to be running better we'll see i have to do some gaming on it all right